Hi. All right. Hey, here we are at the end of the school year. Um, this is uh, like the last lesson I'm supposed to have for you here. Um, if you uh, if you got an A or you know if you were able to have an A or B for the course, then you're done. Um, if you have a lower grade and you want to um, work on doing some things to kind of help improve your grade a little bit, have I'd like you to come to class on Tuesday and thir Tuesday and Thursday, Wednesday and Friday next week, right? And so come to class and it can help you work through some stuff, help you get some points back. That is the plan. Okay, um, so. What we're doing here, it's our last time then, really, and awkwardly, I can't be there. We're not all here together because of we were scheduled to have graduation today. Um, the graduation ceremony for seniors, but because of the weather, they canceled it. So we're doing this asynchronous thing. Um, so I just have a little short thing I want to share with you, and we'll, we'll, we'll wrap this here. So first of all, um, do you remember that at the start of the year, um, we had a discussion um, about what school's about and the purpose of school and why we're doing what we're doing here, right? And I don't know if you remember, we went through and we talked about the different things that school does for you, right? Um, and part of it is, yeah, 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 we talked about like, you know, preparing you for an occupation down the road, sure, and keeping you out of trouble, but um, really we talked about it helping you to learn and grow uh, and increase your capabilities, and that really is kind of like the main point of school. Um, and it's helping you learn and grow in a bunch of different ways, getting new skills, including a big part with social skills and working with other people and learning how to get along with people and develop relationships. And that's, that's a big part of it. This year has been really awkward with being remote. It's made it hard to do some of those basic things that school is meant to do. Um, I am looking forward so much to next year and having everyone in person and back to, I want to say back to normal, but pretty dang close to normal. Uh, we'll be able to do experiments and work together and have people working in groups and discussing things and getting all that good social aspect that we missed so much this year. Um, but coming back around to this, you see, part of the whole point uh, of that discussion at the start was to also talk about what it is that brings people deep fulfillment in life and makes them truly happy. Not just, oh, I'm happy I'm eating a cookie, but in general, like contentment in life. And I don't know if you recall, but we said, you know, once you have your like fundamental needs met, you know, food, water, shelter, et cetera, shelter, we said past that, there are three main things that people need. One is to develop meaningful relationships with other people, okay, that people aren't solitary creatures. They're meant to be with other people and they, they get sick in various ways if they're not, you know, able to have these meaningful relationships. The second thing we said is that people want to be part of something bigger than themselves. Uh, some sort of a cause or something that they're helping with to make the world a better place. Um, and come, come, kind of figuring out like how you can fit into things and causes that are important to you and how you can make the world a better place is part of what you do in school. Um, what you, you're finding out about different things and finding out uh, which way you want to go. And then the last thing we said that really brings people happiness and fulfillment is having autonomy. In other words, having control over their own lives. Okay? and be able to determine what they're going to do, be able to pursue the things that they're passionate about, right? And having that control and that those options is part of what makes people happy. So we're talking about power, not power over other people, but control over your own life um, is a part of it. And I think that education is a huge part of all of those things that make you happy, uh, to contribute to that, right? My goal for you for physics is for you, of course, to learn the physics, right? But my goal it hasn't been for you to learn physics just enough to like pass some final exam or something. And I, my, my goal is for you to learn as much as you can, right? Not just enough for that, but more, like as much as you can, right? Increase your capabilities, right? You say, I want you not just, uh, because the more capable you are, the more things you can do, the more able you are, the more options you have in life, right? Okay, and I want you to be um, not just like able to take care of yourself and not be a burden on society, be a productive member of society. It's not just that. No, our goal is for you to be have this access of ability to be so good at things and so able to do things that you have extra that you can help others, right, and be a blessing to everyone around you. That's really the goal here. So part of this, we say, is, you know, being able to do things gives you more power, gives you more autonomy, gives you more control. It makes you more capable of making the world a better place, right? And that's what we're after here. 
right? And coming up with uh, something, uh, giving you uh, more options for how you can pursue that, right? And be able to do the things you want to do to make the world better. So at this point then, um, I hope you feel like you say, say physics is a big part, can be a big part of that. Because physics is the study of how the universe works, right? Now, it's a huge topic, how the universe works. It's more than we can cover in a one-year course or even a two-year course, right? Um, but so you'll see there's always more to learn and more to find out, right? And that's cool because it means you can continue to become more and more capable, right? Um, so having said that, um, that's really kind of uh, the main gist of what I want to share with you today. Um, and I hope that you feel like you've gained some capability in problem solving, being able to analyze situations, as well as just general knowledge about how the universe works, right? Um, the stuff that we did this year is mostly mechanics, the study of motion, what makes things move the way they do and, and they interact with each other. We did a little bit about electrical interactions. There's more to be had there. Um, next year in AP, we will go in far more depth in electrical and magnetic uh, phenomena. Okay, um, the jump that's on the board behind me is some derivations for magnetic field strength um, that I just recorded a video for my AP guys with that. But, um, but what I'm saying is uh, there's plenty more to learn. Okay, and there's more areas of physics that you'll see in future physics courses, I hope. Um, all right, um, hey, there's one last thing I want to leave you with. Um, this is a video that uh, I just thought was really interesting. Um, and I'm going to provide a link to it so you can take a quick look at it. Um, but uh, I kind of, kind of think you better take a look at it and see what you think. Um, it's not that deep, but it kind of makes a nice point. Um, so, hey, have a fantastic summer. Um, I hope to see uh, many of you in, in the fall, right? See me around the building, say hi. Um, or if I see you in AP Physics, that's, that's awesome. Um, what else am I going to say? Um, yeah, have a great summer. Um, if you have any old homework sets you haven't turned in yet, you know that I have to have my grades in the grade book um, by like 9 a.m. on Tuesday the 8th, I think. Um, and so you say, okay, well, Tuesday the 8th, uh, that means I need, Mr. C needs time to look through them and mark them and grade them and stuff. If you turn them in sooner, I can give you more feedback on it too in the meantime, right? Um, so you want to turn it in ahead of time, right? Don't wait until, please don't wait until Monday, okay? I'd like to use Monday to finish up my grades and my grade set, right? So I can turn them in before Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Um, but yeah, so let, let's, can we call Monday morning for us the deadline to turn stuff in? That would really help me. Monday the 7th, okay? So you have, what, like a week and a half about to, to get this stuff done, whatever you got left, okay? Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. So, hey, um, I'll see you. Have a great summer.